What is up everybody? It is Wick here and I've got 11 thrift stores to hit today. So we're in one right now looking at the shoes, trying to find something to flip on Amazon or eBay. There's some nice looking like boots, shoes, rugged type things, Wrangler. I don't think they're too good. Wrangler, not a brand I really want to flip on eBay. Uh, here's some coach shoes. Did they price them okay or are they insanely priced? Uh, $14.99. Unfortunate. Not worth picking up to sell. Uh, I believe that they're not worth a whole lot. Maybe $30, $40 max. Um, so yeah, not anything in the shoes today. But we're going to keep looking. Over here, there's a data bank for a PlayStation 4. I'm not even sure what this is. It was $19.99. It's clearly been stolen. Uh, I did look it up. It was like $100 on Amazon or something. Really high. So probably why it was stolen. Shouldn't have priced it that high. Goodwill. Um... Yeah, looking at some Christmas stuff, Halloween stuff, but nothing here. So I have been inside of a Goodwill and I picked up this Nike Keystone Diamond Ready Glove. I could not find that model there on eBay, any comps or anything, but it looks like similar 13 inch left hand um, throw gloves are going for about $40. So I will price this at probably $39.99, and I think I'll get a sale. It's in really good condition. Paid $4.99 for it. But let's keep going and see what else we can find today. I am now looking around in a church-ran thrift store, looking at the hats. There's a Miami Dolphins hat. Uh, I would say it's probably vintage. I don't know why, but I find so many Miami Dolphins vintage hats. I already got too many, a lot better ones than that, so I'm going to leave that behind, of course. Uh, everything in here is half off today. So hats are normally like a quarter anyway, so it's like really cheap right now. Uh, Dodge Charger hat, I looked that up, not really worth anything. These shoes, not really any good shoes, unfortunately. Shoes are normally a dollar, so they're 50 cents. Uh, some of these shoes, you might be looking at, it's like, hey, some of those Nike are worth picking up for 50 cents. They're actually really in bad shape. The, the camera is just kind of hiding that. Um, Plus, I don't want to mess with those low-end shoes. Even at 50 cents, uh, they would probably sit forever. And over here in the toys, we got bags of toys. I love looking through these things. You never know what you're going to find. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't find anything today. Uh, that's how it goes sometimes. You just don't find the stuff you want to find. You see anything? Anything worth picking up? Puzzles, 25 cents. Games, 50 cents. Half off of that. Could this be a briar horse? I did not see any briar markings on it. Um, here's another horse, 50 cents. I don't, I'm not too lucky when it comes to finding briar horses. I, I never find them. Uh, games, games are good to pick up cheap, if you, even to sell the pieces, but I'm not seeing any high-end games. There's like this, that pink toy there. That could be Polly Pocket or Littlest Pet Shop or something like that. Maybe should have paid more attention to that. I'm not sure what that was. Uh, but yeah, we just keep on looking. Over here in the media section of the thrift store, I find something very cool. Pokemon White on the DS. And before I open it, I realize there's not going to be a game in here. Every time I find a game like this, um, it's empty. But, you know, I think it's 50 cents, so we're going to pick up the case anyway. Uh, just in case we ever find the game loose. A lot of times you find those games loose in packages. It'll be good to bundle with it, so I went and picked that up. Got out of the thrift store and I ended up picking up some of these Memrex cool disc, floppy disc, tin pack. It says a dollar, but everything in the store was half off. So I paid 50 cents for these. I'll make $15 on Amazon with these, no problem. It's been a while since I found floppy disc. Always happy to find them. They, at least if they're a good brand, they make money. Here we are in St. Francis, probably my most hated thrift store. I don't know, hate's a strong word. I love to come in here anyway and try to find a deal. And I have made a lot of money in this store, so probably shouldn't say hate. It's just that the prices get outrageous sometimes. Like this Xbox old modem for $24.99. Um, I don't think it's worth that much. Uh, maybe I should look that up and pop it on the screen. I'm thinking those are pretty much worthless. They're like um, for a dial-up or something, right? Uh, some old cameras, not really that great. At least they're priced fair at $1.99. Um, looked up one of the Pentax there. wasn't really worth picking up. Over here, what do we got? Some Sony headphones. 
They're they're okay ho headphones except for they're broken. <laughs> Two ninety nine, and that's what really annoys me in thrift stores when they put this like destroyed items like this right here. I think this is like an AV um, box of some sort. Um, yeah, five dollars is just I don't know broken. Uh, Eight dollars for an old Vivitar HD camera. You know, I guess that's okay if someone wants it. It's just probably not that great of a deal. But what really annoys me is the furniture, like these old, you know, entertainment centers. You could use to buy these at Kmart for like eighty dollars, you know, in the eighties and nineties, and they're charging eighty dollars for this beat up, old, out of style entertainment center. It's just gonna sit there, take up space. Like who, who's ever gonna buy this stuff? I just don't know. Um, there's a couple of them there for eighty dollars. You got this corner shelf for a hundred and fifty. There's a basic coffee table they had for eighty dollars. I mean, you can find this stuff on the side of the road in better condition. Uh, Twenty nine ninety nine for this little stand. I thought this was a pretty okay deal. I even considered buying it, but it was really wobbly, so I left it. But it doesn't get any better. I go to the next Goodwill, and here is a Sony. A uh, receiver for $139.99 or control center, I think it is. No, it's a receiver. I believe I picked one of these up at Salvation Army like two or three weeks ago. I think the same one for $10. They wanted $139.99. I regretted picking up the one for $10 because it only sells for like $40 on eBay. So definitely overpriced. Uh, Palm Pilot $24.99, just not worth it. Um, even sealed, they're worth picking up sealed for like five bucks because you can get like twenty four ninety nine, maybe forty bucks for them. But at twenty four ninety nine used, no. But even in all this darkness, I did find a hidden gem. Found something in Goodwill, an old retro game. I love finding these. Two ninety nine. This is just going to go in the collection more than likely. Even though I'm not a big Game Boy fan or really a Pokemon fan at that so um <laughs> still it's got a great label on it so i'd be able to sell this for about 20 to 25 dollars no problem in this condition you know i might actually have this game in the collection so i might actually sell this so yeah 20 25 dollars so here is the rest of the stuff i picked up today for going to 11 thrift stores it's kind of disappointing but at the same time there's some great stuff here and i still think it was certainly worth my time so I've showed you the glove, the disc here, the Pokemon game, and what else do we have here? Uh, this King of Tokyo game, Richard Garfield, who was the creator of Magic the Gathering, and um, eventually sold that to Wizards of the Coast, and then Hasbro bought them, I believe, is how that went down. But this is the first edition, I'm pretty sure, because it doesn't have a UPC. It may have been like a Kickstarter. Um, I can't remember exactly. I do remember I wanted to try this game. Had it in my Amazon wish list. I just never bought it. So uh, I was pretty surprised when I looked it up on Amazon. I think it was about 60 or $70 used for one of these. Uh, eBay, like 30 or 40 I believe it was. There's definitely some money to be made on this game if it is actually complete. I picked up this Front Mission 4 PS2 game. It's about a $20 game, nothing too special. I, I believe I already have this game, so I'll just go ahead and sell it and make a little bit of money. It is complete with the manual in there. I'll switch out the case. You know, one that doesn't have those stickers on it. Um, it'd just be easier to do that. I have extra PS2 cases. We'll make some money on that game. This was a great pickup in Salvation Army. This is a Sirius Radio um, car kit or something. Is new, uh, it's new sealed, and I've sold one of these before. I don't remember what I sold it for, but it was a lot. And this one I'll be able to sell for $69.99 on Amazon easily. It was $9.99. Actually, before when I bought one of these, it came with the other part of it. But the batteries that were in it had exploded, so I sold that one on eBay for like $50 or $60. And then I sold the other one on Amazon for... Uh, a lot and I only paid $2.99 for them at Goodwill but this one it was $9.99 so I did have to pay up a little bit for it but I'll make $40 no problem and this was really awesome this came out on a cart while I was there I picked it up I'm like that looks kind of old Z-Man games which I just recently sold a Z-Man game Z-Man game for decent money but when I I looked on the bottom I'm like I seen this 1995 Country Road. Of course, I didn't see the Country Road, and I thought it was 
95 and I was confused because I'm thinking I thought Z-Man Games was a newer company maybe they had some vintage stuff maybe this is like an original thing plus if you didn't know Choose Your Own Adventure Games was big in the 80s and 90s uh, I love those things as a kid they're they're books you read and you come to a, a scenario and you choose what you would do and based on your decision you turn to that page and the story continues um, really cool idea but this is a game based along that but yeah it's 1995 or not 1995 I scanned it and on Amazon it was selling for $20 new and I said what and I looked again and I, I saw the 2018 I'm like ah that makes sense awesome sealed game though for $2.99 I'm probably going to keep this because I think it'd be something fun to play but fun pickup and then the rest of the stuff are shoes um we'll save the best for last and we got these Brooks GT 15s now, I found a pair of these last year, the year before, at a yard sale for five bucks, and I sold them for decent profits, I think 40 or 45 dollars, and they went quick. So when I saw these for 4.99, of course I'm picking them up. Uh, the funny thing is though, when you look at the comps, a lot of comps they're selling for like 15, 20 dollars. These are really clean though, and you can get about 40 bucks for these. I'm pretty confident I will. I picked up these Ultra shoes for $6.99. don't have a lot of light in here. It was real sunny. Apologize for that. Uh, these were Gator Trap is the name of them. But they're really clean. Ultra sells fairly well. So I paid the $6.99 for them. And I don't know. I'll make probably $20 bucks on those. And then finally I paid $12.99 for these Nightmare Before Christmas Vans. And they have been worn, unfortunately. Let's see if it focuses a little. There's a little bit of dirt. But other than that, they're extremely clean. And I figured they're still worth picking up for $12.99 because they're vans and they're one of the unique sets. And people really like Nightmare Before Christmas. There's a really big following for that. And this particular pair, there's not a lot of comps, but uh, one sold for $140 new. And um, I'm thinking I'm going to price these probably at about 100 bucks at least because of the condition they're in and how rare they are. I don't believe any were on there pre-owned. I think there are some new ones listed for like 160 or something. I just don't remember 100%. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to make some money on these. Hopefully at least $75 profit after all fees and costs. Right now I got Goodwill bags stuck in there to kind of keep them from getting you know crushed and messed up. This is the kind of thing that if it starts creasing, it's going to start breaking the paint. Um, so yeah, it's a good use for Goodwill bags. I posted on Instagram not long ago. What can I use all these Goodwill bags for other than just you know recycling them or, or donating them? I was trying to find some uses. This is a good one. All the shoes that I store, just stuff them in there. Kind of protects them a bit. But yeah, I was hoping for a lot more stuff going to 11 thrift stores today. But we're going to make some great profits regardless. And we found some really awesome things. Hey, we got a Pokemon game, a vintage game. Any day I can get a vintage game at a Goodwill. Because uh, most of the, from what I hear, these are supposed to go to Goodwill Online to be on their online store. So they slip through the cracks every now and then. But yeah, that's going to do it for the video, everybody. Thank you for watching. Make sure you ring that bell for me. Otherwise, you might not see this video. I'm shocked at how few people uh, see videos in their feeds um, just because they don't have that bell ring. And you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Till next time.